Probenicid is a medication used to treat gouty arthritis, tophaceous gout, and hyperuricemia. In this video, let's find found. What is probenicid? What is probenicid used for? Contraindication. What are the side effects of taking probenicid? How does probenicid work? How to use probenicid? What is probenicid? Probenicid, also sold under the brand name Probolin, is a medication that increases uric acid excretion in the urine. It is primarily used in treating gout and hyperuricemia. Probenicid is a medication used to treat gouty arthritis, tophaceous gout, and hyperuricemia. In this video, let's find found. What is probenicid? What is probenicid used for? Contraindication. What are the side effects of taking probenicid? How does probenicid work? How to use probenicid? Contraindication. Hypersensitivity to probenicid or to any of the excipients listed in section 6.1 persons with known blood dyscrasias persons with uric acid kidney stones children under 2 years of age therapy with probenicid should not be started until an acute gouty attack has subsided. Side effects. Mild symptoms such as nausea, loss of appetite, dizziness, vomiting, headache, sore gums, or frequent urination are common with this medication. Life-threatening side effects such as thrombocytopenia, hemolytic anemia, leukemia, and encephalopathy are extremely rare. Pharmacodynamic Probenicid is a uricosuric and renal tubular blocking agent and is used in combination with colchicine to treat chronic gouty arthritis when complicated by frequent, recurrent acute attacks of gout. It inhibits the reabsorption of urate at the proximal convoluted tubule, thus increasing the urine excretion of uric acid and decreasing serum urate levels. Effective uricosuria reduces the miscible urate pool, retards urate deposition, and promotes resorption of urate deposits. At the proximal and distal tubules, probenicid competitively inhibits the secretion of many weak organic acids in penicillins, most cephalosporins, and some other beta-lactam antibiotics. This results in an increase in the plasma concentrations of acidic drugs eliminated principally by renal secretion, but only a slight increase if the drug is eliminated mainly by filtration. Thus, the drug can be used for therapeutic advantages to increase concentrations of certain beta-lactam antibiotics in the treatment of gonorrhea, neurosyphilis, or pelvic inflammatory disease, PID. Mechanism of Action Probenicid inhibits the tubular reabsorption of urate, thus increasing the urinary excretion of uric acid and decreasing serum urate levels. Probenicid may also reduce plasma binding of urate and inhibit renal secretion of uric acid at subtherapeutic concentrations. The mechanism by which probenicid inhibits renal tubular transport is not known, but the drug may inhibit transport enzymes that require a source of high-energy phosphate bonds and or non-specifically interfere with substrate access to protein receptor sites on the kidney tubules. Half-life 6 to 12 hours Dose. Gout. 250 mg PO twice daily for one week, increased to 500 mg PO twice daily to 2 G slash day maximum with dosage increases of 500 mg Q4 weeks. If gout attacks do not occur for four months and uric acids are within normal may reduce dose by 500 mg Q6 months. Dosing considerations. Therapy should not be started until an acute gouty attack has subsided, however, if acute attack is precipitated during therapy, probenicid may be continued without changing the dosage, and full therapy dosage of colchicine, or other appropriate therapy, should be given to control the acute attack, prolong penicillin serum levels. 500 mg PO4 times daily. Pelvic inflammatory disease. 1 GPO with 2 G cefoxetin IM as single dose. Gunner. 1 GPO with 2 G cefoxetin IM as single dose. Safety advice. Category B2 probenicid crosses the placental barrier and appears in cord blood. The use of any medicine in women of childbearing potential requires that the anticipated benefit be weighed against possible hazards.
That's all the information about probenicid we collected. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the He Info channel if you like this video to update more health information.